Yo, what's going on guys? We just heard news that Willie Green's getting a new assistant. James Borrego has agreed to become the New Orleans Pelicans associate head coach, which means like top assistant. Borrego spent four seasons as Charlotte's head coach, including back-to-back play-in berths. Pelicans are eager to incorporate his offensive philosophies. I know he's a really well-known, you know, guy at coaching offense, but I also think he's like kind of an underrated defensive coach okay coming from the spurs lineage i think he's a guy who could really help out a team like this and i think this is a team that definitely could use his offensive creativity they got a lot of players and for me i think we're definitely going to see a a team that is able to use like when he was the coach for the hornets his last season they were ninth in offensive rating 23rd in defense but his teams were not necessarily great at you know defending but the year before they had a better defensive rating than offensive rating and the year before that better defensive rating like he can coach defense okay and then i think in his first year they were a better offensive rating 12 to 22nd defense so he's a guy who can coach both sides of the ball all right i originally thought he was gonna get hired by the bucks as that that was reported but let's get right into today's video and talk about it okay I forgot to add this little tidbit that Adrian Wojnarowski said. Pelicans were able to also retain Jerron Collins, who was a finalist for the Pistons head coach job, and now land Borrego as the associate head coach. Borrego chose the Pelicans over several other opportunities, as I aforementioned. The Bucks were one of them to be the top assistant here next to Worthy Green. Let's get into the video. Now, Borrego is a guy who is well-respected around the NBA, and... He's a guy who's been able to show that he's able to develop players, effectively implement defensive and offensive game plans. He's been, you know, he was an assistant under Greg Popovich, so that that says a lot. Okay, for many years, it wasn't a one th one year thing. And for me, I think he would be a great because he he gives you a guy with coaching experience who who has done the intern thing, done the for you know, coach for four years and. He took the year off. So I think where Borrego excels in player development, we saw him help Miles Bridges and LaMelo Ball and PJ Washington, other guys develop, young guys that are gonna need developing, okay? And they they need more guys to come off of two ways. They, they haven't had the most success in that. So I think that's where Borrego's expertise in building, developing young talent to be depth or even, you know, starting level role players for this team will help. Now, and he's a guy who, even offensive, I think he's more of a defensive coach, but Borrego's also got this creativity in offense. He's a guy who's known for experimenting different schemes and sets. So that could really help give this team a new look.